did you happen to see your fake news, your fake news. any of the Mueller uh, situation this morning with Mr Trump? I heard a bit of it um, on the radio, mm -hmm. the, the terse exchange, I heard it. Um, so are you a fan? Do you follow? Like, see, I follow American politics actually like theatre. You're right. And actually, I, I find it like, it's like I watch Fox News, but not as a source of news. Right. I watch it as a source of entertainment. Okay. So I saw, um, I read, uh, was it Luke Harding's book, Collusion? Yeah. Um, and then I also read Michael Wolff's first book, uh, was it Fire and Fury? Mm -hmm. Fury. And I, it's, and I see he's got a new book out. And I think some people consider him a bit of a hack, maybe. Right. But um, I find the backstory to that, how he got to write that book, kind of hilarious. It, it speaks volumes about the Trump administration, how he sort of got in the door in the first days of the administration. And no one really thought to ask, what are you doing here? Yeah. And people just opened <laughs> up to him. And then he's got this sort of tabloidy... It's like Train the first few of days of, the, of, of him being president that everyone was getting put through the switchboard and they had like six um, prank phone calls get through at him because they was just saying yes to everybody. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, so yeah. How did they get through? Yeah. I don't know. Everyone but seems it, once you're there, oh, you must be you must be part of the team or you're meant to be here. Mueller was up for about four hours today and it seems that 98% of his testimony was sort of irrelevant. Okay. Um, but there was kind of three big things to come from it. Mm -hmm. And these will be the high, you know, like they, any, any news channel for the next kind of three days will play these, probably these three things. Uh, and uh, a Republican congressman stupidly asked the question, you know, is there a, I'm paraphrasing, but is there a case once President Trump is not president that he could get arrested? And Mueller said yes. So that's, pretty massive mm. and the other big thing there was an exchange between a democratic congressman and Mueller where basically Mueller said there is no evidence there's no evidence we could not come to evidence that there was uh that there was no collusion now Trump's going no collusion no collusion no collusion mm -hmm. and he spelled it out very very clearly that the report does not clear him of collusion yeah so they were the two things that really come from it do you want to have you got some audio there Jace or we're just having a look yeah, I don't know what this. I think he's about this is a year section. I refuse a request to be interviewed by you. And oh, your that team. was when the president wouldn't come for yes. a year. And is it true that you tried for more than a year to secure an interview with the president? Yes. And is it true that you and your team advised the president's lawyer that quote an interview with the president is vital to our investigation? Close yes. quote. Yes. And is it true that you also st quote stated that it is in the interest of the presidency and the public? For an interview to take place, close quote. Yes. But the president still refused to sit for an interview by you or your team? True. True. So, not all the way through, you know, I'm innocent, I've done nothing wrong, I'm the, I've got the best words, which was his greatest comment ever, I've got a big brain and the best words. And stable really stable genius. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's comedy fodder for the, for, there's going to be, you know, for every art meme, the medium, there's going to be, you know, there's going to be plays about him, there's going to be films about him, there's going to be, you know, which yeah, is part, but of, also this, part of this game. I still think he's actually incredibly smart. I, I deep down, I still think he's actually one of the smartest people on the planet because he's. Oh, Jason! I think this is the end of our relationship, Jason. Because he's, he's gaming the system. Because he's going to be famous but, for the rest of yeah, his life, and he's going to live in infamy for. His let's not life. overlook that we still have, you know, children in cages. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Abortion laws being to, it's just I don't actually think he's smart, but I'm deep down I'm thinking that the only way he could possibly ever have a shred of humanity or dignity left in him is that he's just actually like the most inhumane person and he's just gaming the system. I think he's just yeah. a narcissist or a sociopath. It's one it can it be only one of the two. And people in those areas tend to think that they have the answers even though they don't. Mm. And but but actually so I would think the likely scenario is rather than him being a compulsive liar, is he's he has narcissistic personality disorder so he doesn't even know he's lying.